endoplasm, the most abundant protein in the body, is produced by fibroblasts and found mostly in the bones, tendons and skin. Previously, collagen in tumors was believed to promote cancer development, but its likely protective role in suppressing pancreatic cancer progression is known. Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues, your daily dose of health and medical news. I'm Mr. Zaman and today I'm going to discuss about cancer cells and how they are protected with immune response. Cancer cells produce small amounts of their own form of collagen, creating a unique extracellular matrix that affects the tumor microbiome and protects against immune responses, according to a new study by researchers. This abnormal collagen structure is fundamentally different from normal collagen made in the human body, providing a highly specific target for therapeutic strategies. The study, published in Cancer Cell, builds upon previously published findings from the Chair of Cancer Biology to bring a new understanding of the unique roles of collagen made by fibroblasts and by cancer cells. In its normal form, collagen is a heterotrimer consisting of two alpha-1 chains and one alpha-2 chain, which assembles to form a triple helix structure as part of the extracellular matrix. However, when studying human pancreatic cancer cell lines, the researchers discovered the cells expressed only the alpha-1 gene, that is called 1-alpha-1, whereas fibroblasts expressed both genes. Further analysis revealed that cancer cells have have silenced the alpha-2 gene or called 1-alpha-2 through epigenetic hypermethylation resulting in a cancer-specific collagen homotrimer made up of three alpha-1 chains. To investigate the real-world effects of this observation, the researchers created knockout mouse models of pancreatic cancer with col 1 alpha 1 deleted only in cancer cells. Loss of this cancer-specific homotrimer reduced cancer cell proliferation and reprogrammed the tumor microbiome. This led to lower immunosuppression which was associated with increased T-cell infiltration and elimination of cancer cells. Additionally, these knockout mice responded more favorably to anti-PD-1 immunotherapy, suggesting that targeting this cancer-specific collagen could help boost the anti-tumor immune response. Researchers said that no other cell in the normal human body makes this unique collagen, so it offers tremendous potential for the development of highly specific therapies that may improve patient responses to treatment. On many levels, this is a fundamental discovery and a prime example of how basic science unravels important findings that could later benefit their patients. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.